Thank you, Madam President and trustees. Um, I have the um, PK-12 executive directors coming forward to highlight our NAPIT events, and I'm not sure whether they're gonna do that from the floor or from the stage, um, but they also have visuals, so um, I don't want you to, uh, your neck won't get tired, but you'll be looking in two directions. Um, I just wanna thank our principals and our teachers and all of our community members who participated in so many uh, NAPID celebration events across all of our Ann Arbor Public Schools last Monday. Um, you probably know, but I like to say it every February, um, launch the NAPID Day, National African American Parent Involvement Day, was launched by our own Mr. Joe Doolin in 1995, and this day observes, uh, as we said, National African American Parent Involvement Day, and it was inspired by the Million Man March. This observance was created to encourage parents to begin practicing the goals of NAPID. And I always like to highlight those goals because sometimes folks don't understand that there are structures and goals behind this event. They are first, to promote African-American parent involvement in their child's education. Secondly, to promote and provide strategies for African-American parents and students to take full advantage of the educational process at all levels of the education system, preschool through post-secondary. Thirdly, to identify and develop partnership efforts between all sectors of the community, business, school, and home. Fourthly, to create a national network on the state and local levels to achieve the mission and the goals of NAPID. To offer educational workshops, seminars, and institutes relating to parental involvement and dedicated toward eliminating the achievement disparities. And finally, to establish an annual National African American Parent Involvement Day celebration on the second Monday in February. So uh, trustees and community, as you know, we often use both Facebook and Twitter. And so Mr. Cluley will do his best to show you a visual representation. And our uh, executive directors will be coming forward just to share a few highlights I know that principals at each school ha are sharing as well. So if folks are interested in their particular school, they should watch for that announcement as well. And first is Ms. Dawn Linden with elementary. Thank you, good evening. It's a pleasure to be talking about NAPID and the events that occur in each and every one of our elementary schools during this really important time for us. The goal for NAPID, as Dr. Swift shared, is to ensure that our families have a direct and vibrant connection to our school communities. We want to make sure that our families are invited personally to become more involved. We wanna make sure that during, during these events, we show our families um, a very welcoming environment and that they can connect with all members of our staff as partners in the work and also to have fun um, with their children. So that's a big part of what we do. Uh, I'll feature just four schools, but there were so many wonderful events that I don't want to overlook any of our, our elementary schools. We're going to begin with Dickon. Um, Dickon began with a coffee event for parents, kind of easing them in, and then we got right down to some really incredible entertainment and um, immersion. This is the Bicini Bia Congo dance troupe. It actually features a Dickon parent among that group as well. And it was a way to get students engaged and to have them experience a culture um, that is quite wonderful and unique in the way that it embodies community and enlists everybody. Following that, our fifth graders um, demonstrated what they learned through their research projects of African Americans who've contributed to American history and to enriching our communities. So our fifth graders took on the personas of African Americans. And they did so in a way um, that really culminated a, a, a big body of research that they'd been doing. And so our students had a personal connection to the folks that they chose um, to study and to learn more about. 
So if you had a chance to attend that, you got a chance to learn a little bit about famous African Americans and those who've contributed and enriched our country. And then I will take you to Mitchell. So Mitchell began with a welcome breakfast followed by a showcase of their very new, um, just created unit of study in International Baccalaureate entitled African American Civil Rights Movement. This is an important part of instructing and educating our children about American history. And in this unit of study, the children are immersed in text and music and visual arts from the era of civil rights. The goal is to immerse them in that time so that they understand the historical and national atmosphere of the day. And they had an assembly featuring Motown and the impact and Motown music as a change agent for the times. Um, they also studied a, a really great book throughout the process too. And um, like I said, it's, it's a full unit of study, so it goes well beyond African American History Month. And that's our goal. Then I'm gonna take you to Bryant and Pattengill. So Pattengill uh, invited parents to a luncheon and it had a guest speaker named Jonathan M. Wynn. Jonathan is the author of Impacting, Impact Parenting, Raising College-Ready Children. And this is um, an, an effort through the bryant Pattengill community to provide parents with some development as well. So while engaging them and inviting them into the school environment, we also um, tried to enrich um, their learning as well. So this event was incredible, very well received, and it was followed by enjoying a student talent show where we showcased the wonderful talents of our students. So, wonderful day. And then I'll take you to Bryant. And Bryant began with breakfast. And they also invited a guest speaker named Marnice Roberts. Marnice is the author of Friendly Not Friends, How to Do the Hard Job of Parenting and Still Have Fun. So who doesn't want to learn how to do that and to do that better? Um, again, very well received. Parents were then invited into classrooms to do visits and then they accompanied their children to lunch and got to experience lunch in our cafeteria which is always a joy. So that's just a highlight of a few of the events for NAPID. Thank you. Good evening, trustees. At the middle schools, we first started out by issuing personal invitations to parents. It's so much more inviting, inviting and welcoming when there's that personal touch that staff send out inviting our parents into our school setting. So we started out doing that across the middle schools and K-8s, or staff were really encouraged to do that, I should say. Um, and once we got them there, students were invited to participate in engaging with their child in the classroom setting, which um, was really important once they get to middle school because parents don't do that as much as they do when students are in elementary. So really getting parents to come in and engage with children in the classroom was a really fun part of the day for the middle schools and the K-8 schools as well. In addition to that, there were a host of parent workshops and parent luncheons that the middle school and K-8 schools put on for our parents as well. And some of those workshop topics included um, at Scarlet, how to overcome barriers to parent involvement in education. At Tappan, it was about speaking to parents around mindfulness te techniques and strategies for both themselves and for their children. STEAM put on a variety of workshops for parents from everything related to how to work with your children in math to how to help them with social media use appropriately and techno appropriate technology use. And um, here at Forsyth, they put parents through the singularly unique experience of having lunch in the cafeteria with their children. Um, and then at Slauson, they had a beautiful day full of assemblies that were really put on by their students. So student dancers, poets, artists, and musicians throughout the day put on performances for both their parents and for staff. And so for the middle schools and K-8s, NAPIT proved to be just a wonderful opportunity to engage with our families right in the school setting in support of our students. Good evening, trustees. The five high schools engage in lots of activities during this month. And on uh, the day that we celebrated NAPID, each of the schools had a welcome area for all of their parents. This day really is an opportunity, and Ms. Parks spoke to it, is an opportunity for us to kind of treat our high school parents much like they 
engage at the elementary level. Very r- rarely are high school parents uh, involved in, in the school day. They come before school, they come typically after school, but this really is an opportunity for our uh, high school parents to really uh, be in the building. All five campuses had a welcome breakfast or a welcome reception area. Um, Parents were invited to stay. Parents were encouraged to stay. Uh, Student ambassadors were available to them. Their own students were available to them across our campuses. I think Mr. Cluley has some pictures of Pioneer. This is Pioneer, and I think you have a Huron picture as well. Um, a couple of our um, buildings had a lunch provided for parents, and a couple of them gave parents the opportunity, as Ms. Parks mentioned, to enjoy the cafeteria. Um, and it was very interesting, some of the feedback that, that I received from uh, some of our, our high school administrators about um, the perception of high school students in a cafeteria. Uh, the number one question that came up is the use of technology, as it always does, right, in a, in a high school, um, but mainly just how well-behaved students were um, in a place that sometimes has a bad reputation. Um, but all in all, this day was really an opportunity for our parents to engage uh, uh, their students and school uh, teachers and school administrators uh, during the day and uh, in classrooms. Uh, and all five buildings reported very, very positive um, outcomes from the day. Thank you, and that concludes our report on NAPID. We look forward next week to our um, reviewing and just highlighting how we also celebrate Black History Month in the Ann Arbor Public Schools, and so uh, we'll look forward to that review next Wednesday. Thank you.